Michael Conlon of Fitzroy, the Lions' bustling half-forward, kicked many goals with bulldozing like this. Almost marked by Conlon. Oh, great play, Conlon. Tremendous play. Conlon. Michael Tuck of Hawthorne. Notice the Hawk veteran at centre-half back here, then spinning through the centre for a marvellous goal. From Richards, Colin Robertson takes it at centre-half back. Towards Curran now, from behind is Moore. Dixon's there as well. Beautifully done, Michael Tuck. He's free now. He can fire for goal from about uh, 50 metres out. And Mike bounce through. Has. Fine play, Michael Tuck. One of the best passages for the afternoon. Michael Turner of Geelong. The Cats missed their skipper's influence late in the season. They could have done with the determination shown here. Look at him go through and like a bullet. Michael Turner dodges brilliantly and what an effort. What a magnificent piece of football. A real captain Again, Michael Conlon of Fitzroy. Nobody likes a goal more and you don't want to get in his way as Trevor Barker finds out. Ball still in. Conlon delightfully to Wilson. Over his head back to Conlon who ran out and then came back in. Mickey Conlon. Oh. Darren Mullane of Collingwood. In one of his first games of VFL football, he shows the poise which made him a VFA club captain at 19. Across to right, look out in trouble. Oh, brilliant interception. Mullane will kick a goal. That was beautiful. And he does it. Doug Barwick of Fitzroy, another first-year player in the VFL, the former Tasmanian shows similarities to teammate Conlon. Short into Barwick, Barwick and Elphinstone. Barwick does well to keep it in and does brilliantly to keep it in. Play of the day, Doug Barwick. He'll go all the way. Look at the pace of the man as he kicks it. He's kicked the goal. Brilliant goal. Brilliant effort. Well, some great goals there in season 1984. But what everybody in Victoria wants to find out who was the winner and Jack, our panel of experts, voted. He was in there with two chances. We gave it to Michael Conlon, the second one, the one against St Kilda. So let's have a look at it again. Michael Conlon's brilliant goal where he knocked out Trevor Parker on the way. Conlon's hand pass out in front of Pekin. Ball still in. Conlon delightfully to Wilson. Over his head back to Conlon, who ran out and then came back in. Mickey Conlon. Oh. Paul Salmon of Essendon. Before a knee injury cut him down in round 13, the youngster was the sensation of the season. Good kick. Salmon's there with Byrne. Burn well placed. Oh, Salmon! What a great mark that was! I think Byrne felt he had it. Stephen Reynoldson of Geelong. The high-flying cat stretches himself up and sideways in a big pack. Blackwell right down to that square. Up there, Reynoldson, a beautiful leap. That was a magnificent leap. Reynoldson being a star, he's obliterated McClure. Jeff Southby of Carlton. Salmon proved a problem for all fullbacks, but the veteran blue finds an unconventional way. Salmon and Salmon and Southby. Oh! Oh, superb! Dennis Banks of Collingwood. With fierce determination for the ball, he crashes to the ground in spectacular fashion. Broke away from Edwards, which doesn't necessarily indicate... Banks! Fantastic mark! Paul Vanderhaar of Essendon. An object lesson in keeping eyes on the ball for a mark which was never his. Brown dives at it. Williams is the man who kicked it high in the air. Graham Allen's got the chance. The gallant Van der Haar takes a screamer. That was a sensational one. At no stage did he deserve to take that. It was absolute courage and class. That's all it was. Michael Reeves of Fitzroy. While a big pack jostles, he bursts into shot, covering nearly as much laterally as vertically. Oh, what a leap by Reeves! An absolutely sensational leap by Michael Reeves. Well, as in the goals, there were some terrific marks there in season 1984. Um, I won't put the pressure on you, Jack, to, uh, to have a guess. I think, I think the best thing to do is to just say, so that everybody can uh, stop panicking, whether they've got the right answer in or not, 
the mark of the year. You might be pleased with this because it does go to a Collingwood player and it's Dennis Banks. I think that uh, this group, uh, Drew, were the, was the best since uh, I've been coming down. I think they were the best set of marks uh, this year that I've seen and uh, there could have been any one of three as the mark of the year, but this one was a great mark. Good slow to get the kick. Taylor, good pace, broke away from Edwards, which doesn't necessarily indicate... Bang! Fantastic mark. 